Hi guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm just gonna bring you a chill, get ready with me, talk about some new makeup items that I'm loving or new makeup items I'm trying for the first time. If you guys cannot already tell, um, I'm actually filming on a professional camera. Um, I finally decided to get one. I'm not filming on my iPhone anymore, so that's exciting. So uh, let me know if you like the video settings. Uh, it might change a little bit in the next few videos. I'm just playing around with it and learning how to use it. So yeah, super exciting. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So the first thing we have here is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I know this has been around forever and everyone has talked about it. I've never tried it. It's never like wowed me enough to be like, hey, I need this. It always seemed like it wasn't much product and I don't always love these kind of applicators. Um, so, I mean, all that negative stuff and I end up getting it. But you know what? There's been so many positive reviews on this and it's a lot of people's like ride or die concealer. So, I had to try it and finally trying it, I feel like this has to be like a special moment. I went to the Morphe store and just got a couple different things. You're going to see some lip products in here too. You guys aren't gonna be surprised by this. I know I really need to like venture out and try new eyeshadows, but this really just has like everything I need except for like a matte white, and I'll just use my brightening powders for that. So I'm still just using the same Jaclyn Hill palette. I know, don't come for me. I'm gonna try something new soon, I promise. I really wanna pick up the Tati Beauty one actually. I'm just gonna go for this one right here and the one right below it and combine those two. guys have any like good show recommendations me and my boyfriend just started watching the white lotus on hbo it is so so good we both love it so i highly recommend that if you guys are looking for something to watch i also started for the first time ever <laughs> watching dance moms and i'm like obsessed with it all right what do i want to do next i am gonna go in with this brush and just go into a darker brown color if this one's right right here to be honest with you guys i don't really change up my eyeshadow much i really like it a certain way so if anything i might just like get a different palette and use like similar colors and see if i like their eyeshadows better but i've been kind of stuck in my ways i'm really hoping that this i have the right settings on this camera you guys let me know how you like it is it brighter or more clear or anything let me know so now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner okay Okay, you guys can see that pretty good. So mascara, I've been using the same one for a while. It's the Rocket Mascara by Maybelline. I never really care too, too much about my mascara because I always will wear falsies on my eyes. And then I'm excited, I picked up some Morphe eyelashes. Um, I've never tried Morphe's eyelashes before and I really like this style. You guys can see. I just liked it because it seemed curly and dense and not like weird looking. So, you know, that's always my go to. This is called Teasem. I always have to trim mine like a lot because I have small eyes. You guys, filming me stresses me out. I don't know why I keep doing it. I really like how curly these are. I could trim them a little bit more if I want to. Whenever I get new eyelashes, I kind of like trim them as much as they need to be. And then as I keep wearing them, they get smaller and smaller and then I'll just put them like closer to the outer corner of my eye. But for now, I'll just leave it like this, see how I like it. Okay, do you really like, put on the same exact eyelash and you feel like they don't look the same? I'm like confused. If you guys love makeup, what's something that like people say <laughs> that really, really bother you? Mine is when they ask me, um, how long does it take you to do your makeup? 
like they're just so in awe and they're like oh it must take so much time and then they just like have mascara on and i'm like you know what i did kind of do the thing where i shaved off a little bit of the tail of my eyebrow so i could make it more like fox like so that's something new so that should be good for now i might go back and touch up certain areas after i do my foundation Let's just like brush that out a little bit. So here's for the fun part. I just got this Uoma. I'm gonna maybe Google how to say this really quick. Okay, we're going with Uma. Uma Beauty, let me know if I'm wrong. Um, I really love this. I saw this in Bailey Sarian's, um, one of her makeup videos and I thought her skin looked really good. I'm like, I need to try this. It is a little bit dark for me, so if it doesn't look like it matches me perfectly, I will go in with a lighter concealer and kind of like fix it. I'm just gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques brush and just start moving it around. I know this looks dark, but as I always say, I will fix it with the concealer and by the end, you will not even notice. But I really like this one. It gives like a nice vibrant finish. It looks really moisturizing and full coverage. And I feel like it still looks like skin. So that made me really excited because I love my Huda Beauty to death, but it can look like you have a lot of foundation on, which I'm okay with that. But sometimes it's fun to like change things up. It's always my favorite part. I'm like, it transforms your face so much. Let's see if this NARS concealer it lives up to the hype. Um, and also, like, it better be light enough to um, fix this up for me, make it the right color on my face. It is creamy, that's for sure. So you can see I've been dipping so many times, like the Tarte Shape Tape will give me everything I need with one dip and more. So this better have an awesome finish, otherwise I don't know if it's that worth it. I'm like talking shit, I don't even know if I like it yet. I might, it might be my new favorite. Okay, let's go ahead and blend that in. Ooh, that is really pretty. It kind of gives off like a glowy finish. glowiness that my skin is giving off right now. All right, you guys can just tell how nice my skin looks. It looks so hydrated and just like, I'm loving it. Let's go ahead and powder this down. I always use the Revolution Banana Powder from the drugstore. It's like my favorite. I Whenever I try other things, it's too, um, it sucks up my skin too much. It just makes it look really dry and cakey. In this one, I like the banana color. I kind of just go all over my face, honestly. My face has been a little bit more oily lately. I don't know if it's like my moisturizer or my skin's changing in the summer months or whatever. And after letting the powder sit, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my lip products. Um, so I got some new stuff at Morphe. I kinda like went ham on their lip products. So I got their lip liner and Bite Me. I got their lipstick and Honey. I got their lip gloss and Freebird. And I got their um, liquid lip and Sweet Tea. This is called Bite Me. It's one of Morphe's lip liners. I've never tried one of their lip liners, I don't think. I feel like these boxes are always so hard to open, I end up just like ripping them. Anyone else? Ooh, I really like their lip liner, it's very creamy. It is kind of like my brown that I like. You guys always see me in brown lips. So just outlined it with that, I'm liking it. Super cute. And let's see, should I go in? I'm gonna swatch mm, Honey and I'm gonna swatch 
sweetie. See which one I want. So this is just the lipstick, normal lipstick. Just like a nice pinky nude, if you guys can see that. Or I can go in with sweet tea. These things never want to come out. Okay. Which is kind of like more of that brown. Let's see which one do I want to put on. Mm. You know, I gotta go for the brown. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put on sweet tea. very beautiful. I really like this color. I like the pigment too. I'm liking this better than NYX right now. A lot of NYX's products are not super um, pigmented. You have to go in a ton with them. So I'm liking this. I will show you guys the um, lip gloss over it in a minute too. See if we like the matte or the gloss better so let's go back to the powder wipe it off sometimes it kind of just like sinks into my skin so I don't like too much to wipe off either when I put too too much powder on my face like I said it just gets more like crepey I hate that word okay so I do really like the NARS concealer. I'm not sure if I like it better. I'm gonna have to like wear it a couple times to figure that out, but I don't hate it. So for bronzer, I don't have anything new for that. I'm just gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer. Um, get some of that on my face. Such a messy desk if you guys could only see. Where is my contour golden nose brush? Okay. Isn't my foundation just like so cute right now? Okay, just have to say that. I'm feeling like cute. So now, I think I talked about this in my last video. Things are dropping from my desk. Next, we're gonna go in with this Jaclyn Hill Brightening Kit. This has been my new, I have so many new favorite things. I was like, everything's my new favorite thing. I'm proud of myself for trying new items. Anyways, um, it looks like this. I kind of play with all the colors, but my favorite one is this like light pink one up here. But I'll like play around with the other ones too. But I just use it to brighten up under my eyes and correct any bronzer that went crazy. If you guys can see just like how much of a difference that makes and it's such a pretty color. Clean up that contour there. I kind of just put it in all the spots that I put my uh, under eye concealer. Cute. So I want to try that gloss. This one's called Free Bird. I've never been a fan of lip gloss but I like when it's like a pigmented color. So let's go ahead and see if I like this. really flattering. I really think it's a pretty color. Yeah, I really like this actually. It could be a little bit more vibrant. I really want to try the Fenty Gloss Bombs. I'm going in with this little brush, same colors I went on top of my eyelid, on the under eye. Outer corner, under eye. There you go. Boom. taking down my hair I just curled it I normally like to do my makeup and then my hair but whenever I do these videos I um, will do it in the reverse order just so I look more nice on camera I guess okay so I got the hair down oh, I just realized I was covering my whole face I'm sorry I'm still loving champagne pop so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on with my eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna do this fat side of the eyeshadow brush. And then your champagne pop and all the glory. So beautiful. 
How does it look? Is it cute? Is my hair on my face? Of course. I think it's kind of cute. All right, you guys. So that is it for this video today. Thank you for sticking around till the end. Um, I enjoyed trying on some new makeup items with you guys. And yeah, I just wanted to sit down, have a more chill video today. Nothing um, super structured. Wanted to try out my new camera. So I hope you guys like the way the video looks. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.